All right, guys. Well, just got done. This camera's probably dead. I had it on time lapse. Oh yeah, she's probably been dead a long time. But there you go. We got all the straw blanket in. Um, I know I'm gonna hear about uh, the direction that we rolled it. Um, this over here is the proper way to roll it. You're, when you're on a heavy grade, you're supposed to roll it that direction. Um, this is almost flat up here. That flattens out pretty good over there. And uh, my dad just made the executive decision. He didn't want me to fight it all the way down, basically. And I kind of agree, because it's not that heavy of a slope. It's got a one-foot overlap. Um, anyways, and if anybody's going to ask about my staplers, you have to use round top, the Curly Q top staples. Uh, I get them at ASP Enterprises. They're in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so you can look them up online. It's ASP Enterprises. Um, but it makes stapling incredibly quick. I ought to have some time lapse of uh, doing it. But anyways, that'll that'll help protect that slope from any kind of erosion or anything. It'll actually help reinforce, you know, with the netting. That's what the netting and the straw blankets for. It's not necessarily to hold the straw. It does, but um, it actually acts as a soil reinforcer. Um, anyways, but that uh, that's what we're doing today. Now. I have to road the tractor back home and Brian called and he wants me to go I guess I got 12 more foot of frost footing to dig over there on that big footing job I guess he missed a jump or something a uh, bump out I, I don't know what it is but they're over there right now so we'll run over and take a look at it and get it knocked out but anyways that's what we got knocked out before lunch all right guys see ya